our continent is a continent that Europe today with the present mindset would miss out on. And I say it with every boldness. Africa cannot willy-nilly just go with Europe. When you have a topic that says bold Europe, it definitely suggests that more people are realizing how not so bold Europe is today. A Europe that is not seeing Africa the way you should see Africa is missing out on the business case that is Africa that could help Europe regain its competitiveness in the world. Welcome to Truth Africa series, unapologetic and truthful. I am your host, Yemi Melikaya. This is Obiageli Obiezekwezili, an economic policy expert and advocate for transparency, accountability, good governance, and capital development, a humanitarian and activist. In this video, she spoke about how Europe need Africa. Watch and pay attention. When you have a topic that says bold Europe, it definitely suggests that more people are realizing how not so bold Europe is today. And the f there is nothing more helpful to the human spirit than ownership of a problem. Because you cannot solve a problem you deny. And, um, and so the fact that Europe is alongside its young people confronting the reality that there was once a Europe that could hold its head up and say we are bold, <laughs> although the definition of that bold from the perspective of an African would be nuanced. Mm. Um, mm. <laughs> but it still is a good thing that we're having this topic. Mm. And so my number one point about bold Europe would be that it has to be a Europe that is self-reflective of history. Europe's neighbor, proximate neighbor, as a continent, is my continent. It's Africa. A bold Europe would be a Europe that agrees that Africa cannot willy-nilly just go with Europe on every issue Europe wants, simply because Europe once upon a time straddled Africa, colonizing many of the countries, being exploitative and extractive of that region of the world. What Europe that wants to act boldly would do in 21st century world is to recognize that there is a new generation of Europeans who actually look back at that history and think it was not a good history and yet are very bold to build person to person, business to business relationship with Africa on the basis of partnership. The bureaucrats. The bureaucrats with the old and dated mindset of Africa need to retire so that this younger generation that understand that it is about the accumulation of ideas and the diversity of those ideas that will take us into a prosperous future that is equitable. Mm. Number two is that a bold Europe would be a Europe that stops looking at Africa as a humanitarian case. Mm. It would be a bold Europe would be a Europe that looks at Africa and sees the possibility of a contiguous zone of prosperity and stability. Not a Europe that makes immigration the heart and mind 
of its relationship with Africa. It would be a Europe. A bold Europe would be a Europe that sees Africa as a business case. A Europe that does not ask me as an African, what do you think about the Chinese? Why? Mm. You are Africa's proximate neighbor mm. and you're worried about a country that's how many nautical miles away from your neighbor. Mm. You have to be asking yourself, what did we get wrong? That's what a bold Europe would do. Yeah, yeah. A bold Europe would stop being hypocritical. And what do I mean by this? Europe took a position around the issue of climate change and the various options of energy generation for the world. And suddenly something went off and a redefinition of what energy security would mean in terms of sources of energy mix happened. So suddenly, gas has become an important part of the equation. Even coal has become an important part of the equation. And it actually, confidently, in a wrong way, goes across Africa picking up prospects of these resources. Whereas your proximate neighbor has just 35% of its people with access to energy. Mm. It made it difficult for these countries to have access to the capital that could develop their diverse sources of energy. And suddenly, because Europe's own energy security is threatened, it goes back on its word. Mm. A bold Europe would be a Europe that the word that it, oh, I take that back. What it says is, what you're doing is so loud, I cannot hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. That's, Europe has to work back on this. Because the truth is, Europe needs Africa. A bold Europe would look at the demographics and what the demographics are saying to us in terms of the labor force of the world. Yeah. Our continent, Africa, is going to be one out of every three young people in the workforce of the world by 2030 are going to be coming from that continent. You called me to come. I believe you called me as a friend. And friends tell the truth. They don't do diplomacy. They are very direct. So our continent is a continent that Europe today with the present mindset would miss out on. And I say it with every boldness. Europe did not see China coming 40 years ago. They didn't see it coming. You also are not seeing that there are three game changers that would make Africa become. These three game changers are Africa's young people, Africa's women, and technology. Mm. A Europe that is not seeing Africa the way you should see Africa is missing out on the business case that is Africa that could help Europe regain its competitiveness in the world. Europe's problem, it has macroeconomic stability issues, but the real issue for Europe is its competitiveness. And we saw what happened with COVID. How could the entire world collaborate to build one production center for all of us. That was disastrous. A bold Europe would look at that story and would use the data that show 
that Africa can be that place of diversification of the opportunities for structural competitiveness of Europe and not anything beyond seeing the continent as a continent that it appeases by doing little pieces of development. As when we talk about Africa, the conversation often centers around its rich natural resources. But today, we are shifting our perspective to highlight the invaluable contributions that goes beyond what is extracted from the ground. Africa is a biodiversity hotspot, and its ecosystems are home to unique plant and animal species. The rich tapestry of life in Africa contributes to the overall health of our planet. From endangered species, protection to ecosystem preservation, this effort benefits the entire world. Africa is increasingly becoming a hub for scientific and medical research. The continent's unique challenges have led to groundbreaking innovations and discoveries. From advancement in disease control to innovative agricultural practices, Africa's contributions to global research are enhancing our understanding and improving conditions for people everywhere. Let's talk about culture and art. Africa is a treasure trove of diverse cultures, languages, and artistic expression. The world benefits from the richness and vibrancy of Africa's contribution to literature, music, art, and more. The global cultural landscape is enriched by the stories, traditions, and creativity that emanate from Africa. It is a reminder that our interconnected world thrives on diversity. Africa is experiencing a surge in innovation and technology, from mobile banking solutions to renewable energy projects. The continent is at the forefront of addressing modern challenges. By supporting and acknowledging Africa's technological advancement, the world can benefit from sustainable solutions and creative problem solving that transcend borders. Africa's significance goes far beyond its abundant resources. The continent biodiversity, scientific contributions, cultural richness, and innovation play crucial roles in shaping a more interconnected and prosperous global community. What are your thoughts on the broader perspective of Africa's contributions? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. And there you have it guys, kindly share your opinion in the comment box below and do not forget to like this video so YouTube can share this video with more people like you. Until next time, cheers and have a good one.